It's the aha moment. We're going to do a little story time this week here on the podcast, talking through the process and kind of what happens to clients uh, on the back end a little bit when they kind of the light bulb goes off and it kind of starts to all make sense right here on Phil's Tax Hacks and Other Retirement Facts. Welcome into Phil's Tax Hacks and Other Retirement Facts with CPA and personal financial specialist, Phil Putney. Now let's get rolling with today's show. Hey everybody, welcome to the podcast. Thanks for hanging out with Phil and I as we talk investing, finance, and retirement with Phil from AFS Financial Group. Uh, as always, we're going to talk about various different topics, and we're just going to do a little story time this week here on the podcast, Phil. Uh, the aha moment. Uh, I kind of want to play that song, Take On Me, from the band Aha from the 80s, but I know we can't. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll just talk a little bit. When it comes to, you know, working with an advisor, uh, specifically you, obviously, in this situation and just, you know, some various moments where it kind of clicks, you know, because I get it. It's not everybody's thing, right? It doesn't always right. right away. Some people are a little trepidatious when they sit down to work with a financial professional. They're like, ah, is this right for me? Does it really work? How does this going to all happen? Is it all going to come together? You know, so let's just talk about that and, and share some moments. A lot of times. The, the clients will come through some kind of a class that we've done. So we teach a class on social security and taxes um, for those that are in and nearing retirement, you know, so you're getting close to that age and starting to figure out, okay, well, how does all this work? Um, and I get comments all the time about the aha moments out of that because just retirement in general, isn't as easy as most people think. Now, you know, you don't have to make it complicated, but it it can be. I mean, there's there's a lot of moving parts, right? You can get in the weeds it, if you want to. Right. So, I mean, everyone would like it to be just simple, and it can it can be simple. I always say, yeah, the simple route is, the, I call it the, the default plan, right? Following the government plan, just file for Social Security whenever. They don't care what you do. You know, don't take distributions till you have to because the IRS doesn't care. They know they're going to get their money at some point and hope it all works, right? But, I mean, if it, it can take some time and, and strategy and energy and cost money to, to go through a process that at the end of it is developed for you specifically, you know, so. Yeah. And to help you maximize really and, and, all right. the things. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I always say our, my goal throughout this process is helping you minimize taxes, maximizing income throughout your retirement. I mean, that, that is which, at the end of the day, what we're trying to accomplish, right? If, which sounds good. I mean, that's exactly why yeah. some, we would sign up for that, right? Right. And that's the, our process works through a client through that. We, we start with what we call our base scenario, meaning when we first start having a discussion on retirement, okay, what are your thoughts? How much do you think you need? You know, what are you going to do about social security? When do you think you're going to file there? If you have a pension, what's your options there? What do you think you're going to do there? You know, and, and we start to run that base scenario. Okay. So if you did that, what you were thinking, this is kind of what it would look like. So how do we improve that? Right. So social security is one of them. Okay. So you, you know, you thought you were going to file, you're retiring at 62. And I just want to get the money as soon as I can. So let's do that. Okay. Well, let's run through some options, right? Some pros and cons and, and run through scenarios to say, well, based on your scenario, probably isn't the right decision because of this. You know, not to say everyone should delay, but again, scenarios are different. Here's some options, right? So there's that aha of, okay, well, this is how that works. You know, same thing when you look at pensions. Um, and then get into the, the tax side with Roth conversions of giving, and I, I always like to say it from, from the difference is going to be our perspective, right? So we, we help clients do this every day. This is what I do. I help clients retire. So I've seen all the moving parts and, and your moving parts are different. They're unique to you, but they're very similar to everyone else's. Everyone else, and I always put up this right. analogy in the, the screen where it's got like three circles that intersect. Everyone's got income. Everyone has assets. You've saved money somewhere and everyone's going to pay taxes. So yeah, the Venn those, diagram. Yeah. The Venn, yeah, there you go. As, as the three of these come together, your retirement income plan sits in the middle. As we change one, it changes the other, right? So our goal is to, to make it work most efficiently for you, you know, so- so Which is the that. point, right? Right. Yeah. So, so when you when somebody gets that aha moment, share a couple of them with us. Like something yeah. that you know somebody came and said, you know, uh, you know, is this going to work or whatever? And then all of a sudden, maybe a little later on, went whoa, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, and that's that's really the hard part from our standpoint up front is to to help 
paint that picture for a prospective client early on to say, you know, here's your scenario. And we always do kind of a napkin sketch scenario to say, okay, here, here's the different moving parts. Here's, here's some things that I see based on my background and knowledge and working with hundreds of people, thousands of people going through this that I, I, based on history and what we've done, I think we can change. And here's why, you know, and why some of these pieces might come together. So that's where it becomes a little difficult up front for a prospective client or even a client that says, okay, yeah, let's go through the planning process. As we get into the planning process, it's much more clear because now I can show you the math and say, okay, well, here's, here's the math, right? Well, let's run some assumptions with returns and, and everything else. But here is the math behind that to say, this is how it works. Here's one versus the other, one option versus the other. So working with a prospective client right now that he just signed up for planning, but, you know, he's, he's starting to come back still and question, okay, well, is there, you know, I was thinking of just spending from my tax deferred account first. You know, he's got money in the three buckets, taxable, tax deferred, and tax free. So his big question that came back is, well, number one, he says, look, I don't care about saving taxes. I just want to spend more. You know, I'm like, okay, well, aha moment is they, they do correlate somewhat, not, not all the time. You know, but the goal, again, is maximizing income, which often comes, comes through saving taxes. But then the other one was his idea was, OK, well, should I really be doing conversions or, or why don't I just spend from the IRA? Well, he had money in the taxable bucket. So I kind of walked him through. Again, this is early on. We haven't even done our first planning meeting yet. So trying to describe to him this process. But in that first planning meeting, he'll have the aha moment of here's the term plays out. And that's always the challenge in getting the aha is even running the math and showing you the aha, the benefit doesn't come till later. And it's hard to, to get to that, right? So, and that's where we've had clients all the time that we've done this planning process through that, you know, typical client, let's say that in their scenario it made sense to delay social security. You know, we're doing Roth conversions so early on in this plan, it's quote unquote painful, right? Because they're looking at this thinking, wait a minute, I'm spending all this money down. You know, I've always been told I should spend only 4%, no more than 4%. We're spending way more than that up front because we're paying taxes as doing conversions and they're living from the assets, you know, as we're maybe delaying. I'm, I'm seeing period. my account go down, Phil. Right. What's I'm going seeing, on? I'm right. seeing the account going, are you sure this is right? Is this really going to work? You know, I'm like, right. Just, Trust me, we're on track. This is this is exactly like we planned it. We're okay. Mm -hmm. You know, we're doing conversions and 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 again, looking at statements, right? You're only seeing what's on the statement. Well, if you're paying taxes on an IRA as you're converting it, you're going to see a value go down. Because the when you get your IRA statement from your custodian, it doesn't say, well, your IRA is worth a million dollars, but don't forget you owe the IRS. 25% of that or whatever the case is, right? It doesn't have, it doesn't have that line item on there for the, the unpaid taxes. So that's kind of behind the scene. So we've had several clients that as we've gone through this process and, and we get to the, the end stage, right? Where now they've turned on social security, delayed till 70. It, it, between the social security benefits, it's providing a big portion of, if not all of the retirement need, especially if they've got like a pension or something else into play. So they're now spending significantly less in their assets. And now all of a sudden they went from paying substantial taxes because we're doing conversions to this very low tax. And now that they're there, paint that picture going forward. And it's a much different long-term picture. You know, and you're so not that, touch, you're not maybe not touching that account now as much as you were. You're not living off those assets, uh, right. and it's tax free. So whatever growth is happening, free. so it's yeah. it just it's a much different picture at that point. But the struggle is getting there, right? Sure, now, there's, wow. like anything, there, there's there's a ton of trust that they have to place in us up front, which I'm very thankful for. Right. Well, it's like but, weight loss, right? I mean, you, right. you really don't want to give up some of those some of those things that you know you need to because you just love eating them, even if you think they're really not that bad for me. But right. when you start to finally see, I mean, like I didn't want to stop drinking soda, but I lost twenty five pounds this year because I stopped drinking soda for the most. I stopped drinking at cold turkey for like thirty days, but now yeah. I just have the occasional drink, right? You know, so right. to speak, right? Occasional soda or whatever. Same kind of thing. You got to go through a little bit of that pain to see the the, the back end benefit. Right. So, and that's, I mean, we've a couple of podcasts ago, we talked about fees and, you know, how do you, 
what's the value the advisor provides for their fee? You know, if you, it's beyond just looking at, well, the S and P did this and your portfolio did this. I mean, okay. That's, that's a small piece of the overall equation. You know, the value is that total is, strategy, right? What is the total strategy long term? And, and we're there helping you number one, set it up up front, you know, and, and again, my, my goal is never to say, well, this is your plan. Let's do it. It's here's the pros and cons and options. And, you set the strategy, we pick it together, and then we start working through it. Not to say that it can't change along the way, but here it is in, in walking you through, kind of holding your hand, reassuring you throughout that to say, yeah, we're still on track. This is why, this is what we expected, you know, so that by the time we get to that goal in the end, we're in a much better position. And, and now it's, it's a better process going forward, and we re we've removed a lot of the potential future stresses. The Tax Smart Retiree is your comprehensive guide to mastering tax efficiency for a flourishing retirement. You will find indispensable advice and actionable strategies designed to enhance tax savings, maximize social security benefits, protect against market volatility, and develop a customized retirement plan. To get your free ebook, click the link in the show notes of today's episode and download your copy of the Tax Smart Retiree right now. Yeah, and I mean, and that's and that's awesome. That's amazing. But I, I can hear people thinking, and they're like, "Yeah, but what, I may have to wait, you know, several years of working with an advisor to get that aha moment." But yes and no, but I imagine that you also have aha moments too from people when they first come in potential clients and you just do some initial stress testing of the portfolio, running oh, yeah. some math, going through the software. Maybe for those folks, like many folks who wind up mm -hmm. walking into an advisor's office and they go, I'll never be able to retire. Just go ahead and give me the bad news because I know you're going to tell me I got to work till I'm dead. And yeah. you run the scenario and you go, hey, guess what? I imagine even that little aha moment or big oh, yeah. aha moment's pretty great, right? Because it's like, wait a minute, I could actually retire? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's so there's aha moments all through the planning process. And that's one of my favorite parts is especially that where, because I've had several clients with similar scenario to think, oh, you know, it's probably going to be three to four years. I'm going to have to hang out. And, you know, I hate the job now. It's just become terrible. But I don't think I can retire until this date. And it's funny, I'm working with a client right now going through that planning process and that was their thought, you know, but we're, we're running the numbers. It's like, look, you can retire tomorrow if you want. Either, I don't know why you're working. So you, you, the only, you're, you're working because you love it, evidently, because you don't, you don't need to financially if that was the reason, you know, which that to me is an awesome discussion to have because it, it now makes work optional for them to where they can just that alone oftentimes just removes the stress to say, you know what? I, I can deal with it then, you know, it's okay. I, yeah, there's always a benefit maybe to work in longer, but is it worth the stress? What are you giving up to do that? The pros and the cons. And that, that's the value of true planning is, is that, right? Going into a decision, knowing both sides of it. So that now you make an, what I say, an informed decision, you know, the, the both sides of the coin so that you can make a more informed decision going forward doesn't mean you're going to pick the the quote unquote financially best scenario. That doesn't matter. What matters is what you're comfortable with. It, it, during the planning process, I often call it, there, there's two rules. There's a head rule and the tummy rule, right? My job is to give you the head rules. I can show you all the math. Here's the, the facts and the numbers and all how all this works. But at the end of the day, you have to make that tummy rule decision to say, am I comfortable with this option or Maybe a, a, an option that isn't as great financially, but I'm just more comfortable with it. Great. Let's put that in the plan. It's your, it's your house. It's your plan is not mine. So let's, let's yeah. make it your yeah. retirement. So, so let's get it part together. For, you know, so whatever the aha moment is, I mean, it's, I think, you know, the retirement planning strategy process is, it's kind of can be filled with them. Right. Uh, but you got to start is. it to find out what's going on. Like you can start with that first one of, and maybe it's a good aha moment. Maybe it's not right. Maybe you find out you well, can't well, retire right. tomorrow. There's you, unfortunately some of those too, but you got to wait but, a couple of more years or whatever the case is, but it's better to be, get the information and get the light bulb yes. going off, whatever it is, good or bad, the better, the sooner that you can, so that you can eventually have the good aha moments and go, yes, I'm finally right. here. This is finally rocking, you know, or whatever. Yeah. So. And even in that scenario, because it always it doesn't always turn out rosy, sure. right? There not are always roses and sunshine, right? Say, yeah, this is not going to quite work. Right. There's, there's levers, so to speak, we can work. So we don't leave, just leave a client there and say, oh, you wanted to retire next year. Sorry, it ain't going to work. That, right. <laughs> 
that's not too it. Bad. Next, so sad. You know? No, it's like, okay, well, that didn't work. What, what can we do to make it work? Right. So right. if you want to retire at that, I mean, that's, that's an absolute. Then let's, here's the other things we have to change to make that happen. You got to lower your retirement goal from a spending standpoint. You know, I mean, there's a, a lot of different things we can do to potentially make it work. Might not be exactly what you wanted, but it, it gets, again, you've made now a decision to say, okay, well, to get this, I'm going to have to do this to your analogy of the pop. I love pop. You know, it's been a big piece of what I, I enjoyed all my life, but I want to lose weight. I can't have both. So I'm willing to give it up to get this and then maybe take a little of it back later. But again, it's a pro and a con. It, and that's our goal as an advisor is walking you through that. <laughs> There's that Midwestern reference versus the, the other parts of the country reference pop. Or soda, or soda, right? Yeah, yep. Or soda pop, as it used to be back in the day, right? So, yep. yeah, I lived in Indiana and Michigan for a long time, and it's pop. Uh, but in a lot of other places, I lived at soda, right? Soda. So, you know, yep. You know, so semantics, aha moment, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. You know, again, that's the, the point of having an advisor, folks. You know, we talked about this on a couple different podcasts this month in June. Is is that finding the right advisor for you to help you? You know, deal with yes. the things that are on your you know kind of docket on the things that are really going to be unique to your situation. We're all going to have to deal with Social Security. We're all going to deal with taxation. We all need income in retirement. There's all these different pieces that affect us all universally. But it's how that that Venn diagram, you know, kind of goes right. together. Phil was talking about earlier that plays into it and really getting to the aha moments for yourselves to make sure that, you know, you are having the retirement that you want. Cause that's the ultimate aha moment is yes, right. I've got the retirement yeah, I, I want. Yes. I'm happy. You know, I'm able to, you know, live out my days, my final days, enjoying myself. Hopefully. I mean, life mm -hmm. is going to life. It, We're always going to get happens. stuff at us, right? Yep. And it's always going to happen, but you know, having some peace of mind in there uh, goes a long way. And I think that's really what the aha moment's all about. Yep. Having that plan up front. And that's where the advisor can give you the longer term perspective because we've been there with many clients. So we've walked them through it and we see what you, we see the potential where most clients don't, right? Because they, they've never been there. They don't know what this looks like. We've already done it. I, I have walked many clients through a similar scenario. So I can give you kind of the benefit of their path and say, well, okay, this is what we've seen and why. There you go. So, it, you know, it, we, we uh, you know, most of us are going to retire once, right? So not right. multiple times. Uh, and so working with somebody who's helped a lot of people retire is also an aha moment in and of itself. So you know yep. what to do. And if you don't, I'll go ahead and tell you anyway. Check the show notes for descriptions on ways to reach out to Phil. Get yourself on the calendar. The number's on the screen for those watching on the video form, 248-888-7530. That's 248-888-7530. Or go to philstaxhacks.com. That's philstaxhacks.com. And subscribe to us on Apple or Spotify or YouTube. Hit the little uh, notification bell and the little thumbs up there on YouTube to get notified of new videos when they come out. And again, lots of details in the show notes as well. Just click on the description for all of that good stuff. And we'll catch you next time here on Phil's Tax Hacks and other retirement facts with Phil Putt. Phil? Investment advisory services offered through AFS Wealth Management. The content